Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful, Hope reflects on Finn's words, Eric hides his worsening condition, Sheila and Deacon reveal their engagement, and Luna's mother warns of her aunt's reaction to her being in L.A. at the Cliff House, Hope steps back from Finn's hug and apologizes for getting emotional. Finn totally understands. Steffi went through the exact same thing with Liam. That's why Finn thinks she turned to Thomas, because he's devoted to her and only her, but he thinks Hope can do better. Finn recaps that he's done a lot of messed up things to her in the past. Maybe he's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that she deserves better. At Deacon's place, he and Shayla share a champagne toast. She tells him she didn't accept his proposal immediately because she feared he'd lose his relationship with Hope. She tells him how much it means that he believes she's a changed woman. She wants Finn to see that and believe it too. At Forrester, Carter is showing Ridge the diamond order when Eric and Donna walk in. Eric chortles that Ridge is wondering if his designs can compete with his opulence. He warns nothing, and no one can hold back Eric Forrester. The banter for a bit until Eric seems to feel off. Donna notices but Carter and Ridge do not. After a minute, Eric continues to crow that he'll beat Ridge in the fashion challenge and take back what's his. He asks Carter to make sure his orders go through. Donna notices her husband faltering and says they should get going. Eric agrees and warns, time's running out Ridge, as Donna leads him out. Ridge makes a questioning face. In the design office, Luna notices RJ brooding and guesses it's over his grandfather. RJ tells her the situation with Eric is a lot worse than he thought. He confides what Donna told him about his granddad, possibly having cerebral vascular disease, or TIAs, mini strokes. Luna makes comforting noises and asks if he's got an official diagnosis yet. RG went online and looked it up and it's not good. Luna urges him to stay positive, which can do wonders. She reminds him that Donna is looking out for Eric and he's helping with his collection. He's so lucky to have you, RJ. With that, Luna pulls RJ into a hug. At Deacon's place, Shayla hopes the engagement will help Finn see that she's not unlovable. Deacon worries, you didn't accept my proposal to. Shayla laughs, no, daddy. She just hopes Finn will see that she's not the monster the foresters make her out to be. Deacon, as a fiance, will do whatever he can to support that. At the cliff house, Finn reiterates that Hope turned to Thomas because he focuses solely on her. Hope knows Steffi has felt the same way too. Hope reflects that Steffi's smart and she's certain she would never take Finn's love and commitment for granted. Hope tells Finn it's been nice talking to him, refreshing. She feels like he understands what she's going through. Finn thinks she'll work through this and find a man who's completely devoted to her. It's just not Thomas. At Forrester, Ridge tells Carter he was worried about his father for nothing. He looked great and is at the top of his game. At the Forrester mansion, Donna helps Eric into the living room, where he takes his medication. She promises they'll get him help from the best doctors in LA, nothing will hold him back. Eric starts coughing and assures Donna that it's nothing. He pulls her into a hug and looks down at the hand he covered his mouth with and sees blood. Donna can't believe how free and easy Eric was with Ridge earlier. He was joking that time is running out. What kind of dark humor is that? Eric wants to have humor in his life for all the day he has left. He'll laugh when he takes back Forrester and can only do this because of her. They express their love and embrace. In the design office, Luna reflects on the burden RJ is carrying by keeping Eric's secret. She feels so lucky to have this internship. She never thought she'd be working there, let alone helping Eric Forrester. Luna is grateful for the opportunity, but mostly for being able to get to know RG better. RG gets called to receiving, but first thanks Luna for what she said earlier. I'm happy you're here at Forrester too. Once alone, Luna takes a call from her mother, who tells her that she can't be in LA and needs to come home. I know what you're doing. 
you definitely can't be at Forrester Creations. She rants that Luna must know how her aunt will react, with Finn. Your aunt Lai will let you have it. Luna pouts, I don't care, mom. Her mother asks, what about Finn? It's only a matter of time before she's found out, and it will all come to a crashing halt. Luna disconnects. RG reappears and asks, what's going on? Luna looks miserable. Hope arrives in the main office at Forrester and flashes to Finn hugging her and telling her that Thomas isn't the man for her. At Il Giardino, Finn tells Deacon he got his text, what's up? Deacon tells him it's about Steffi. He knows she went to Europe because of Sheila. Finn warns, if you know something about Sheila, you better tell me. Deacon says he does. He asks, what if I told you that I could help the situation? What if I told you that I can ensure that Sheila would never be an issue for you or for Steffi? He adds, she's not going to harm anyone. Deacon talks about how he's turned his life around, and Finn says, that's great. What does it have to do with Steffi? Suddenly, Shayla appears and says, hi, baby. She sits and takes Deacon's hand. Finn asks, what's going on? Shayla says, what's it look like, sweetheart? Finn shakes his head, no, you and Deacon. Shayla has finally found someone who loves her, I'm happy. I'm so happy, and I just hope you can be happy for me too. Finn fumes and grinds his jaw.